In Los Angeles, I've never witnessed so much diehard astrology like belief. Well, you're from Massachusetts. It's not encouraged to speak up about your witchcraft. I, I know. <laughs> if the witch trials had happened in California, they would have been like, you should open a produce stand. That's true. They would have been like, you're a witch, girl. You should do an upcycling Etsy. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel. And Katya. And we are two queens who like to watch. Mm. And today we are watching a documentary about the mysterious, the dazzling, the um, possibly gay, possibly gay astrological legend, Walter Mercado. Oh, you know who this person is? Oh, I do. Absolutely. Oh, like, I had no idea. He's kind of like Latin America's astrological Richard Simmons, a flamboyant, you know what I mean? I couldn't think of a movie more built for you. Gay <laughs> astrology and disappearances. When you take a look at him, I think a lot of questions will be answered. <laughs> Fierce. <laughs> God, this documentary has <gasps> costumes, wigs, makeup, telenovela, drama, different cultures, showbiz scandals, heart attacks, religion, spirituality, reanimated tissue. Woo! <laughs> Let's hit it. I'm excited to learn. Oh my God. Look at the cape. Is this one of your characters? Cancer. Aries. God, Pericornis. Aquario. It is Siegfried and Roy. Plus Richard Simmons. Plus Jan Crouch. Yes. Plus um, Suzanne Summers. Tell me that doesn't look like a wax figure of a person right now. That would be at the Hollywood Wax Museum, but it'd be on the top floor where no one usually goes by like Clark Gable <laughs> and people would be like, who is that? Walter was unique. He was different. He was a pioneer. Anybody who's ever going to compete on Drag Race, take this idea, run with it. Oh, the ponytail. Very androgynous. El señor Walter Mercado. He's like a gay Spanish Vincent Price. Oh my God, totally. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's like Dolly Parton, the Pope, Liberace. He's so costumey. Like he's two seconds from wearing like a share believe tinsel wig. <laughs> I couldn't tell which one was him. What happened to Walter Mercado? Probably has his own planet somewhere. He is such a queen. There's no better exit than telling no one. No sh You know. One day a bird fell in the, in the yard and he was dying and I, Took the bird. Walter would not have approved that cartoon of him. And suddenly the bird started to flap its wing and it started to get better and it began to fly. That little bird, Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli, shut the f up. People in the village would knock on the door of my house. Meet and greet. And <laughs> Walter is selling VIP meet and greet experiences for 150. Yeah. You get a signed poster. And they began touching me. Touch, 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 touch. I believe in all the gifts and the fantasies. Mm -hmm. I have this cousin, cause you know, I am fully Caucasian looking. Yeah. But I am from just off the reservation. And my uncle, he doesn't like being photographed or mirrors cause it's something about spirits with him. He doesn't take photos. They say in my family, if you take a photo of him, he doesn't show up in the pictures. When I saw another boys, I know that I have another way of life. My brother was all the time riding horses. And I was doing the hula hoop. I love that he's so innocent. He was like, I can't be gay. I'm Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm godlike. I decided to create a famous person in me. She is doing drag. So let me get into this. You're gay. You live in California. Do you f with astrology? <laughs> I think I'm the last person who doesn't. People here f with astrology and the EMTJ personality chart. Yes. People want to be told what they are, so they have direction. Yeah, they want a blueprint. They want a. They want some kind of map. They want something yeah. that has nothing to do with Jesus. So if you're really into astrology, it's like a fun quirk you have. Versus, I'm really into Christianity. That's like, oh, you know, they're like, that's fine, but stay over there. <laughs> Yes. People also thought it was a science to study the bumps of your skull. Phrenology. I got a phrenology uh, model. Yeah. I bet you do. Yeah. Take that wig off. There's a phrenology model right under there. <laughs> <laughs> My fontanelles are still soft. My name is Willie Acosta and I'm Walter Mercado. Isn't it crazy that everyone can speak English and none of us can do anything? We're just a bunch of ignorant trash. I came to Walter's life very young. Honestly, this is the oldest drag queen at a bar who's just had enough work where she can do every character yes. illusion. You know when older queens have a little cheeks and a little lips and they can do Cher, yeah. Bette Midler, yeah. Judy Garland, totally. like everyone. El signo de ella. Sign is Sagittarius and she is Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> he assist them with my costume. The way he made people believe him through the TV is through makeup and hair and costume. You are what you are dressed as. That is so universal. Yeah. That's why like with Dr. Oz and stuff, they're always in scrubs. If they weren't in that, you wouldn't believe them. Right. Look, you have to eat cookies you. too. They're good for the system. Do you want to see me fat? You know, two guys who aren't lovers are like, you need to eat more. I want you healthy. Staying in the same hotel room. Yeah. Don't make me get Yeah. <laughs> 
Which Sondheim off-Broadway Into the Woods production is this? Don Quixote on acid. You saw his popularity just grow and- By the way, thorny plants being thrown into an audience. <laughs> Do you like tiny spikes? <laughs> Life is pain. Walter Mercado is surrounded by fans. Do people bring you flowers? Yeah, pretty often. <laughs> on tour a lot. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn right when you said that. Yeah, I guess. Shut up. We had people swarming out of the buildings in 15 minutes. I remember seeing him on Telemundo. Really? I mean, you know, flipping through the channels. I didn't speak Spanish. I just quickly jerk off and then keep going. Shut the f up. He has an augmented face that defies gender and age. Daytime soap opera. Have you had any plastic surgery done? A special Botox like Nicole Kidman. God, he must be rich. Or like strangely poor. El modelo de Walter Mercado es algo así como un pumpkin. A pumpkin about. Oh. <gasps> if she was at the pageant, she'd be doing Thriller, and she'd pull that cape off, and the dancers would come out. Walter Mercado. I keep thinking he's gonna like sing. I know. Get this party started on the Saturday <laughs> night. That's his number. <laughs> he would have been a great Bond villain. Totally. I want him to be the president. His version of the presidential address is just your horoscope. I know, but unfortunately, <laughs> the people who vote will be like, what kind? You know, yeah. oh, kind of queer. Yeah. Walter always take a pill called an I don't care pill. That's words to live by. So everything slipper on my body. The hair Whatever rolls said, off. I use Vaseline. <laughs> I think that Walter had a lot more confidence and security in himself than most people from where he's from at his age at that time yeah. had. I mean, think of how many closeted people were like, you better work. Like, yeah. we know you're gay, and you're being gay for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like a mascot. Do you read his gay thing right off the bat? Not really. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't look feminine at all. No, I don't look masculine either, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you can tell I'm alive. I like gay shit. So like, if you talk to me for 10 seconds, I'm not gonna be like, how about them bears or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, people are like, how was your day? I'm like, five, six, seven, I <laughs> catch a fedora, you know. I'm ready for my number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't talk about sexuality. Why is that? Because I have sexuality with the wind, with the flowers in the garden. I.e. The I'm gay. Are you gay? Girl, I love nature. I f*** the wind. I have sex with life. I have sex with everything. That ottoman feels wet, doesn't it? Those curtains, <laughs> they don't even open anymore. They'll break in half. That oven mate you just slipped on. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, oh my God, they are angels. I must be in heaven. You're not in heaven. You're in Cleveland. He thought she was strumming a harp. She said, mama, this is a stethoscope. <laughs> it's not a scroll, it's a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> Boricua. Holy sh**. Come. He has a great moral authority. I love a cape. How many capes does one need? The limit does not exist. I'm also here for a mini cape. One that only goes like halfway down your back. Totally, like, like not even to the elbow. <laughs> Here's the thing about astrology for me. It speaks to my inherent narcissism. It's like when Alyssa Edwards, she's in a room full of drag queens and she gets close to it and she goes, I've never one here. Who will be the three? <laughs> Which is like the craziest thing to be asked, but also like, it's so indulgent. You're like, oh, let's get into it. Well, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Millennials know maybe more about Walter Mercado than I do. They stand Walter Mercado because she's fun, she's kind of fluid with her sexuality and yeah. her gender, and she's spiritual. Spiritual but not religious. And she's mysterious. Yeah. It's also not cool, especially like on the internet, it's not cool to like make fun of someone for being gay or whatever, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. If we were in high school talking about Walter Mercado, people would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Crucified. Yes. Beers, that haircut. My grandmother had that. He looks like he would be an ice skater. Like that's Johnny Weir in 20 years. Can they have cakes? We'd have to rewatch Spinning Out, available yeah. on Netflix to find out. How about Aunt Lojena? When you're like wasting away in hospice care, do you want to have the cameras on you? I would think I would quit Trixie before it's like... <laughs> Palliative care? <laughs> yes. Like I would think I'd be done with drag by then. I don't want it to be like, wow, she should have seen her when she was younger though. She was great. Yeah. You know, she's a really kick. This is me, by the way, two weeks from now. Completely. Carried in on a throne, bitch. Gina Davis. Gina Davis, making her entrance. <laughs> Donald Trump wishes. When I get old, I have to be in a wheelchair. That's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna put like a little like Super Nintendo controller right on the arm of the chair, so you can dial it in, yeah. <laughs> but I'm about to freak out because <gasps> I miss the meet and greets. No. <laughs> I do. I do. It's an amazing thing to be like 
adored. I mean, literally we do that. We do do this, but it looks famous when he does it. It doesn't feel yeah. famous when we do it. <laughs> no. He's not doing this to make himself feel a certain way. Like he's doing it for them. You, you don't have to understand what people get out of meeting greets. Right. Okay, if I had a museum exhibit, I'd have something for my early drag, like I used to wear like swimsuits and stuff like that. Then I'd have like, you know, drag race stuff, like the thing I won in, yeah. or like that red latex thing was pretty cool. Oh, so good. I would have stuff from probably like every tour. I think from all my tours, I saved the costume from that tour, like yeah. the, the main costume. I'm so bad with like archiving stuff because A, I don't have much. Okay, I'm glad you said that because I'm lying. I got, I get rid of everything. <laughs> I don't have sold anything, and people are always like, I've what are you gonna do when there's a museum? And I'm like, there's not gonna be a museum. Do you think I'm Stevie Nicks? No, I'm not archiving my costume. I know, it's I don't so wanna meet like, the drag queen who's like, we have to archive. I know! Tell me more with that. You know what my retrospective's gonna feature? Just a giant bowl full of other people's teeth. That they've given you. Yeah. My retrospective is gonna be tweets from fans that are like, your bangs, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The important stuff. People will be like, I don't know who this is and I don't have any reference of her costumes, but this tweet is serious. Her bangs made a young girl cry. Yeah. How tragic would it have been to have your whole career and likeness and brand and everything snatched away and then not to have this last little taste of appreciation for it? It would have been like the ultimate gay tragedy. Oh, totally. And a lot of people don't get due credit until later in life. Like people get big, yeah. disappear or get shit on or get canceled or whatever. And then later in life, they get like a second wave of appreciation because the that goes away. I want to live long enough to have a little shitty gallery in Boston or something. Like um, in the back of Dorothy, these. There'll be a little cardboard box with some like pixelated computer printed photos of you. Maybe some green crayon written on the box. Admission, $5. Yeah. I'll be there. Like, uh, I'm ready to meet and greet. You know, people leave like beads and guitars and booze at like Jim Morrison's grave. What will yeah. people leave at yours? Cigarette butts. You smoke it, reminisce, and then stub it out. I'll be there. And then stub it out right on your dead body. And then your fucking gray hand reaches through the soil <laughs> Come right and up. grabs that little butt I'll take and takes that. it back down. <laughs> Mine, they would drop off like teen people and my hand would come on and be like, I already read this one and throw it. <laughs> yeah, f you. They will never leave. If you go away, you had track con. I've done that song before. <laughs> Walter Mercado is a force of nature. He used to be a star, but now Walter is a constellation. Ah. Fierce. His nurse is like, yeah, honey, here's a constellation pill. Take it right now. We need you to have movement tonight. <laughs> You've been constellated for a few days. I know, I know. <laughs> Mucho, mucho amor. Mucho, mucho amor. Can you roll your R's? Yeah. Mucho, 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 amor. mucho amor. If I had seen this when I was growing up, it would have changed I don't, my life. I don't think the outcome would have been different. <laughs> you don't think so? You think this would have made you on the straight and narrow? You would have been a real estate agent right now? <laughs> I could be in flipping houses right now. Comment below. Would you watch a show of Katya earnestly to camera giving college yeah. readings? Because I think I think people would I, I would. I would love to do it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mucho, mucho. <laughs> Hasta luego.